Sub YouTubers, Colorado's finest. It is D Day for the clone off. You can see it's three clone domes, three new lids. And let me give you the breakdown of this chaos that's about to happen. So if you're interested, pay attention pretty close because it's going to get quite confusing. And it's going to take a lot of work to keep this organized. Because I'm going to try to do as much as I can in one video to, to see as much as I can. And for you, if you're not familiar, learn as much as you can. It's all in one. So here's how it's cracking. Okay, we got four solutions. We're going to use Thrive Alive, Clone Tech, Route 66, Mad Farmer. Okay, now three of these are used for cloning. This one is used for uh, transplanting clones. This right here helps when you transplant. Um, lowers the stress, does the it boost uh, root growth and all that stuff. So I figured, well, I'm going to give this a try for the clones. Um, you can also use a bloom um, nutrient as well. So, But I'm going to try to use this one. So we're going to use four solutions. Here's the breakdown. So we're going to start off with, we're going to do several different plants. Um, We'll do bombberry. I'll go through the plants as we go, but here's how it's going to work. We've got clone gel. I'm going to use the root tech. Okay. Um, I don't, uh, all the research I've done, they all work, and I haven't seen any work better than the others. So I'm just going to simplify this as using a, a gel versus straight up water. I'm going to use pH water. Out of my reservoir, um, RO water, five stage. So what we're going to do is cut clones, and we'll put four of each in straight up water, and then we'll do another four in the clone gel. So first test will be is which one of these two root fat first, the fastest on average of four each, and I'll still keep going and see if these root at all in that straight in water. So. We'll do it that way. Now, what's going to happen is the cubes, I'm going to be using the same in every one. Um, the root riots, uh, rapid rooters, all the same thing. We'll be using these. Now, um, we'll be soaking. We'll be soaking the four, which will be eight total, because there'll be four of them in the gel and four of them in water. So we'll be doing eight in the Route 66, eight in the Thrive Alive B1, eight Clone Tech, and eight Mad Farmer. So four of them will be the gel, four of them will be just strictly water, and that's going to be of every single kind of plant that I'm going to do today. So. It may be bombberry, it may be ice, TAC, um, train wreck, Hawaiian hay, strawberry blue, uh, cotton candy, chronic juice, white widow. I, I, I'll just I'll go through the plants as we go, but that's how that's what's going to happen. We'll have four cubes of every solution with the gel, and four with no gel. That we're just stuck in the actual water and they'll all be in here labeled the way they'll be labeled will be the front row will be all the gels the, the back row will be all the ones that were water only so gel up front water in the back and we'll separate the cubes of each plant so it'll be mad farmer first clone tech thrive alive route 66 so I'll, I'll label all that that's how it's gonna go um, Got the rubbing alcohol scissors and everything's gonna be ready to go. We're also gonna do um, two of the cloners under uh, with a heat pad, and we're gonna do one without a heat pad. So we'll see the difference there of cloning with and without. Um, I obviously already know a lot of this because I do tons of that cloning. 
but there's a couple of these I, I've never used so I'm curious as well and if it works awesome I may try it in the future just like you might just do it too so let me get this started we got a lot of work to do tonight a lot of cutting and trimming um, these are the fine ladies that will be ready that are all ready they're actually all ready for flower but they are not going to be There's, I don't have the flower room these are all mothers so this trimming is also going to help keep them under bay um, keep them from outgrowing as you can see there's some of these that have really long stretch we're going to get rid of those um, I do scrogs so I try to keep the plants as even as possible all the way across that's pretty much everything under the scrog I cut off it's called lollipop so we'll be back this will be a long journey okay we got 32 clones first row of each one of the gels these are the ones that were in the cloning gels and in the back row is all H2O same thing on this all gels and the back row are all straight up water meaning the plant when it was just chopped it did not go into any cloning gel or it did so um, you got mad farmer clone tech um, drive alive and route 66 so each one's gonna be the exact same um, that is the ice then strawberry blue Mad Farmer, so on, so on, so on. Each one will be the exact same. Um, both rows will be Mad Farmer. Uh, both rows will be Clone Tech and Thrive Alive and Route 66. So they're all the rows. The difference is front rows gel, back rows water. Let the competition begin. They will both be sitting on a heat mat. Um, both have a light. So they'll all be equal. Both have water in the trays. So it's all about what they've been soaked in as far as the plant itself, water or cloning gel, and what each of the rapid rooters have been soaked in, which is the four different solutions. And then we'll be doing the sprays with water only to see how it goes. The next update will be in another couple days. Now just let the time do its job. We'll see who's successful, how fast, how many. I'll be looking at them daily. Day two. Uh, shouldn't be any changes whatsoever. So, let's take a look. I think they're all good. I'm definitely sucking up the moisture. So now both of them have water in the bottom of the trays and I'm spraying them with straight RO water. No extra additives, nothing. So they got what they got in the cubes, which yes you can do the sprays and all that but we're not going to do that with any extra newts. So um, there shouldn't be any changes for the next couple of days. About day five will be interesting because I've had some, quite a few uh, clones root in five days. So, but I am going to record each day, day by day. So, nothing's changed here. It would be a pure miracle to have roots in two days. So. All right, we'll be back again. Like I said, day by day. Moving right along, day three. Let's see if we got any deficiencies going yet. put underneath these all that moisture that likes to drip surprise surprise no roots <laughs> day two yeah right so everything's looking good I believe I said it before I'm just spraying them with straight RO water 
make this an even fair competition. Pretty much thought I would share the fun with you guys here on all the different things that were going on. It's looking good. Close this one up. Move on to the next one. Try not to smash any of the leaves in here. Kind of hard not to with 16 clones in each each dome spread it out like that. But next one. Suckers dry out fast. They're just sucking down water. That would be why. I don't know if you see it here, same thing as yesterday. Is the leaves are pretty much bone dry. The only places where they're not bone dry are of course they're touching the side of the dome. But these plants without the root system are sucking everything they can out of every leaf. So, uh, I can do a quick rundown once again of what's going on. I know it's kind of confusing. I'm trying to get done spraying this real quick. I'm going to do a rundown. Like I said day three. So shouldn't have anything crazy happen until day five or so we'll see I'll be surprised I've had plenty of rounds of clones that rooted in day five so that's when I start expecting to see the overachievers but here see we can do the breakdown Let's see if I can move this out Let me just light. I'll do this again in case there's any kind of confusion which I'm sure there is um, there's the same amount of clones in this dome as in this dome. Um, basically why I did that is I wanted to use multiple um, kinds of plant. Like you can see this is Bomberry THC. Um, and right behind it is going to be the same. You have THC here, THC here. Bomberry here, Bomberry here. There's two rows. This is cloning gel. So each one of these clones were soaking in cloning gel. And behind cloning gel would be H2O. Meaning these clones were cut and strictly just sat in water. So they don't have any cloning gel. So we'll be able to see um, the benefits of the two if there is any. Um, obviously the the gel should, in theory, um, root faster. We'll see. Um, I'm also going to keep doing them. So if the water ones all don't have a problem and keep rooting, I'll just report that. If it's 7 days, 10 days, 15 days later, we'll see how long it takes. If they live or not, then I can tell you right there, do you need to waste your money on cloning gels or not? Or any kind of cloning solution. I mean, I'm sure it's better, faster, but if you're patient and you can save money, if you haven't done it already, this is just pure, you know, uh, play around, just info to know. And if some of you don't know, this will keep you from going through all this to find out. And I wouldn't recommend it, it this video even stopping you from that. You should always do stuff on your own to play and try. Um, it's always a learning experience to do it yourself rather than watch somebody else, but it'll give you a good lead. But yeah, there's four. Well, you got TAC, Bomberry, then you're going to have Strawberry Blue and Ice over in here. So this one's got Ice and Strawberry Blue, TAC and Bomberry. I did four different kinds because, as you know, if you've done clones, some plants just clone faster. They just, all in all, they just... Some are real easy to do, and there's others that are just a real pain in the ass to to clone. That's just genetics. So um, I didn't do train wreck because I've done uh, too many clones to count on that one. So I know everything about that plant. So I wanted to do some that I don't know as well to play with. So, like I said, because I'm just doing this to learn myself. Uh, most of these clones will probably end up 
I hate to say it, but it'll probably end up just getting thrown away. Uh, there's no reason why I need 36 clones when I have abundance of plants ready for flower. All these are mother plant seeds. These are all seed grows, no clones. So those of you know, when you grow flower seed plants, you get at least 20 plus percent better growth, all that fun stuff. But anyways, day three, we're rocking away. Uh, we'll see you guys on tomorrow. Well, today's day four. We're going to be getting real close to getting roots now. Shit anyway. From previous experience. We should have some. We're getting real close. Nothing yet. No winners. Pretty sure it'll be that way on the other side as well. So hopefully tomorrow or so we'll see something crazy going on. Roots. Let's see. Well, yep. Day four, anyway, my friends. No action. It's quiet on the clone front, so I'll keep this one short. And we'll wait till tomorrow. I'm going to spray both of these with straight RO water. Um, I can see the light. Um, to get used to, I use rapid rooters. If you get used to them, you'll notice that when they're dry, they're like a tan color. When they're wet, they're like a brown color. Paying attention to things like that is crucial. Um, what I'm seeing is, is there's definitely some root growth going on, starting anyway. Um, the plant is taking in water from these cubes. I'm noticing they're getting more of a light color closer to the tan side so right now I just make sure you spray them uh, get the cube a little moist you don't have to soak it just just enough so if there is some hidden roots which you won't see uh, they will have fresh water and the nutrients that the the actual cube soaked in that to feed off on this. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. I do have my holder, but to do this short little video just about this, I didn't want to pull it all out. So that's it. We're back in the dome. Continue on one more day. Dome 2, which has 16 other plants. And as you can see from each each and every uh, video I did, you can see that the leaves are completely dry. You can see the little water that dropped from the lid right there, if it would focus. You can see how all the leaves are completely dry. They are feeding. They are supporting the life of these plants right now as the roots are trying to establish. Um, there is a light tan one there, if you can see the edges. See how it's like, uh, you can kind of see the edge of that? It's getting tan versus the dark brown. That right there tells you that it's not disappearing. The actual plant, you can see this one here probably has root development versus this one. Very small. You can probably see just a little bit of the color difference. This is more of the light brown. This is dark. Well, that's showing you right there. This darker one has moisture, but that light tan one doesn't. So you want to make sure when you go spray your clones, keep an eye on that. I use rapid rooters not just for that reason. It's just I like them. I use soil. Um, my TWC stuff. I really don't care for rapid rooters. I use Rockwool mainly because Rockwool supports the, the plant a little better, especially when it's around the clay pellets. Um, I found my rapid rooters are a little on the soft side, so sometimes the heavy plants are not 
too happy when they don't have enough support. But there it is, um, day four. Happy fourth to you all. Uh, we'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Hopefully we got spots of roots and see who the overachievers are. Y'all have a good one, Colorado's finest. Colorado's finest, day five. Time to check out the clones. Hopefully we have some rooted ones. It's possible, but doubtful. Let me turn this fan off. There we go. Now I do have a plant that has root growth going but nothing that is broke through the rapid rooters as far as I can see nope no winners on that one um, what's really cool is I don't know that'd be the jail I'm not too surprised with the jail clones being able to create a lot of roots We'll see. So this one is a no-go. We'll check out the other one. Yeah, let's do that right now. Leave it apart. Freaking clone domes make a freaking mess of water. Need to put a pan underneath them for sure. That would help. For you new guys cloning too, you gotta watch out for the leaves sitting up against the side of the domes. If there's a lot of moisture, they can get over moistured. And what'll happen is, is they'll turn into like spinach. Like the old nasty soggy spinach in a can. That's kind of what happens to it when it gets over saturated. And it can smell pretty foul. And you may want to cut that off. So be careful with any of your leaves up against the side of the, the dome. So we definitely got this one here, same as yesterday. See the color difference? I repeated, I said the same thing on, on the fourth. You can see the two in the back there, how they're really dark, dark brown, almost black. And you can see this light tan one. That one right there, I guarantee you, has got root development going. Because what it's doing is drying that cube out every single day. It's not totally dry, but right there, if I didn't catch that within a day or two, it would dry out and definitely would kill the plant and kill any of the root growth. So that was one of those little hints I was throwing at you is try to pay attention to your rapid rooters if you use them I like to primary reason is that can give you a good hint that might be the first one that busts roots through we'll see it probably will be of that whole group right there being that it's obviously got some kind of intake going um, for food because of it drying that cube out it's, it's taking it in so it definitely has some root this one right here straight down that one has something going on it's a lot light it's lighter than the, the ones next to it i know it's kind of hard to see for you guys but trust me you'll be able to see it um just like this one um these are all pretty much lighter than the others but this one right here i've been giving water but you can see see the root growth those little tiny white dots that's the roots growing right there on the top so you know if they're there there's probably some on the bottom so surprise surprise I'm gonna have some successful clones I don't need them I'm only doing this for this whole test purpose only um, now this plant right here what I can tell you right off the bat by looking at it is it was starving for a little bit of nutrients um, with having no root system one main reason to tell is look at the color of that see that leaf and this is the other leaf right above it it's actually surviving and staying alive by taking the nutrients from this leaf 
very important not to cut these um, a lot of people make a mistake even on your plants you know unless you move it and it just falls off you know you can leave it it's not it's not going to contaminate the whole entire plant like it's not going to spread like a virus um, but the thing is is when you see that leaf doing that unless you move it and it falls off then leave it because the plant's still feeding off of it so let it use the nutrients in the leaf before you cut it off and take it away um, should make perfect sense but yes that's what to do unless you're doing lollipopping or something like that then yeah but don't freak out and want a perfectly green looking plant um, they do their own things root structures everything else um, you're gonna have plants that just are a pain in the ass and they can be the same kind of plant I got three Hawaiian hazes when I did the five seeds I did regular seeds I had three females two males get rid of the two males the three females every all three of them are completely different same seeds regular seeds all three of them are way different from each other um, there's actually two of them uh, pissed off showing some deficiencies but they're both showing different deficiencies um, one of them is showing um, some iron it looks like iron or yeah it's iron and the other one showing a magnesium two different deficiencies same same seeds same plant you know well of course different because two different seeds but you get what I mean um, they just they are who they are and, you know you just gotta know your plants to know what they might do and work from there nobody's perfect a lot of these videos you'll see people try to show perfect plants all the time that happens I had that with monster train was flawless but you know uh, uh, being a grower if you do it multiple times I don't care who in the hell you are you're gonna come across plants that are just are pain in the ass sometimes no matter what you do um, just it happens so if you've been growing long enough you'll know that anyway sorry to get off track I just like to give info I have quite a few growers that you know just like to hear different things and I do myself I go on YouTube all over the place I watch all kinds of growers um, and I, I like to listen to what they say you never know come across something you never heard or done I'm still babbling but all right I'm gonna get back to spraying these get the domes back on hopefully tomorrow or so and maybe a day or two looking at where they're at now that we will have roots pop so we're at day five we'll see you guys tomorrow for now I'm just gonna spray spray them with plain water RO water um, yeah now here's another thing I don't know if you, if you watched my other videos you know I, I've done clones before I'm not saying I'm a master Miyagi of cloning but if you watch my other videos um, there's some people that like will freaking blow a head gasket and preach about pH in the water and there's some of the cloning gels or cloning newts I should say uh, for the feeding spraying or soaking cubes it says pH in the water and shit I've never in my freaking life pH my water. My water is it's RO. It's it pH is at seven, straight seven O, completely neutral. It always has. It's a five stage system. I've never ever pH my water down on any of my thousands of clones that I've done, and I've never had a problem. So, just so you guys know that are newer to cloning, if you see that, don't flip out. Dude, you see what I'm doing now? This is from my RO system, right? They're 37 gallons. It's on a float valve. The line runs out of the room. Goes over to the water source where the five-stage system is. And that's all I freaking use, so trust me. Um, no need for the BS. Y'all have a good one. I'm going to get out of here. I dragged this one on because i got to put it together with all the other days. So y'all have a good one. 
once again Colorado's finest clone off is going day five is complete and we'll see y'all on day six hopefully we got somebody rooting by now I hope same old process These lights are on 24 hours a day, by the way. I mean to make you get to this far in the video to see that or hear that. Looks like we have a fan blowing in the camera. Let me make sure we stop that. There we go. Looks like right now I see no winners. So day six. And I see nobody throwing roots out. Nope. Yep. Let's pull off the second one, make sure there's none over here. And like I said, different plants, different different speeds, train wreck, extremely fast cloner. Hawaiian Haze, extremely fast, Northern Lights, so yeah, it's a lot of fast, fast rooters I should say, other than that I see nobody, so we'll be seeing you all on day 7, which is tomorrow, for this grill, which is matching the days of the week, couldn't the time that any better, I didn't do it on purpose, you got my word on that. Happened to land on the right day. Awesome. Take notes of myself to do that more often. A lot easier to keep track. So, yep, we're just going to miss them down, get them back into cloners, and see you all on day number seven. Y'all have a good one. See how this goes. are taking a little bit longer than usual I think a lot of that has to do with them only spraying the tops with water thought I've been doing a little bit of nutrients they'd probably be a lot happier right now so it looks like we got no roots so, yeah this one here that it's got roots coming out though top there. It's definitely got roots inside. So and the bed will be the same with this one as well. Sorry about that. Drop it on the plants. Oh 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 we have a rooter. Down at the end, right there, you see the root coming out. That would be Strawberry Blue. It's got roots out. So, got one little tiny root. Looks like to me that the cloning gel, of course. Well, well, we got another one, and this is the water on this one here. Let me check this out. This is non-cloning gel, THC. It's got roots coming out right there. What's up? Look at that. So there it is. There, that would be THC. Let's see which uh, solution that was. That'd be Clone Tech. Clone Tech solution. So. 
I had to pick a winner. That one's going to be it. Looking at how the growth is on the roots already. Unless somebody else just goes insanely crazy and fast. It looks like the gel. Let's check out the gel. This is the Clone Tech. Yep, Clone Tech gel sitting right here. Has nothing. So, same plant. Um, clone Tech with water. Clone Tech with gel. And the actual Clone Tech in just straight up water. Actually has roots. So, it's going to be our winner there. But we'll keep going with this for probably 10 days or so. And we'll see. All in all, um, we'll wait because more of these will definitely be rooting. Getting roots. However you want to say it. So, that's what we found out today. Clone Tech has got the upper hand on everybody right now. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow on day eight. I'm going to spray these, which you guys have seen already. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. We are at day eight, I believe. Trying to lose count. I was going by the date, but I'm doing it at different times now, here and there, so. Just throwing it off a little bit. Uh, let's take a look in here. I can see already. Uh, the one from yesterday has exploded. Looks like we got one with roots. Now this one, you can see it's it's got root development, but it's just not cutting the pie. Our winner is going to definitely be the THC clone tech and water only that wasn't in clone gel that was straight up water uh, super white bright roots nice and healthy um, yeah, so far I don't see a single other clone that's rooted yet but we still got to open the other dome so. Let me, uh, get the other lid off here but not even close to our winter over there which is another it's ice and, and straight up water non clone gel so don't know what the heck's going on with that um, yeah there's another one we got some more with roots uh, look at that strawberry blue that one's kind of exploded I think what we'll do is we'll do oh there's another one another strawberry you see it back in the corner with this root shooting out I think what we're going to do is we'll do uh, I guess I don't know maybe 10 days and we'll just do that I mean obviously we got roots I can keep going to all these roots but um, we'll go to day 10 so two more days and uh Keep updating there and we'll see who progresses more so now we have two of the water only and it looks like two of the gel so yeah I was hoping this ice would break free break some roots out things huge that is a stump right there see the size of that ice the good old ice so, 
Alrighty, we'll see y'all on we'll see y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a good one. Colorado's finest. Should be day nine. Let's see what's going on. I know battery's a little on the dead side, so we got it plugged into the wall right now, restricting some of my movement. going on okay we got roots all over the place we got roots on see gel berry bombs got roots that was that one I kept showing that was a light tan um, color so like I say um, you can usually tell with rapid rooters because they'll be a dark brown. And when they start getting real light brown, you know there's a root system in it. Um, primary reason is it's getting light brown because there's roots that are actually um, feeding off the water and stuff into the off the rooters. So I guess if there's one benefit to rapid rooters over. Uh, rock walls you can literally see um, what's going on with the clones so um, it's just like I, I expected now the the winner overall by itself was this um, THC it's just THC with the water and not gel used but the primary reason why I use gel is okay this one clone first but if you look at um, the ones next to it still have not rooted so there's three of them next to it that haven't rooted um, over here we have one rooted um, what is this one I think it's strawberry blue strawberry blue oh no it's berry bomb so we got one rooted berry bomb, two rooted berry bombs, and the other two are not. But let's go over to the jail side. This is why I explained um, to another grower friend of mine that we were talking was, yeah, I, you know, even though the water won first, but overall, um, you got one berry here two berries with roots three berries with roots one THC with roots these were all the gels um, you got ice with roots you got one you can see two I can see so we got two ice and every single one of the strawberry blues have roots from the gels the water strawberry blue not a single one not a single ice one one ice i see one one ice so if you want to you know do a count the gel by far has way more it it's outnumbering um in the clones like I said, so, sorry about this camera stuff for day nine, but like I said, I'm, my phone's freaking dead. And I'm using it for a camera right now, but that's the facts are the first one to root was THC water. Um, quantity wise, at day nine, jail, almost every single clone from the jails have roots. I mean, there's, I think, three, four, I think six. Yeah, six. There's six that don't have roots. Out of ten, twelve. No, there's six. Yeah, six don't. Twelve have roots, so look at the odds there. It's so <clears throat> there you have it. This is day nine. I'm going to do one more day, I promise I'll have my cell phone charged, 
We'll do day number 10 and we'll call out the winner. So as far as we go is the first one that won was the water um, and that was the clone tech solution that the, the rapid router was soaked in. So that was the first winner. Now root wise <clears throat> every one of these roots here that I can see are super bright white and healthy so it's kind of obvious there but other than that you can see the plants are now um, looking for nutrients see this one here it's got a little bit of nutrients so that's another thing you can learn from cloning um, if you don't know already you can see um, most of the time it's the nitrogen that is lacking first that it's going to want to go after you'll see like this freaking rooted crazy monster I don't know if you can see the roots in there you can see them down in there but that's it's got this leaf here it's been eating um, this leaf over here it's been just grabbing all the nutrients because like I said I was spraying them with just water only no newt spraying water only is all they were getting so I think I would have even had faster re results and more obviously with these ones here rooting um, they had to feed off their leaves to um, to be able to root um, to live so I think personally without a doubt if I was spraying them um, with some newts they would have probably rooted faster and the leaves would still be a lot more green so um, here's one right here that's completely brown it's been eating you can see those it's they're trying to survive so that's one of the things they do is if they can't get it through a root system um, that's why me personally unless you're lollipopping you know and stuff of course the natural uh, trimming but if you get a leaf that looks like this I mean to me I just it makes no sense to remove it you don't remove it until you move move it and it falls off literally without you pulling it the plant is consuming um, energy and, and nutrition from it so don't remove leaves just to make your plant super green now if you have that nutrition problem with um, nitrogen and um, you see the yellow leaf it's not gonna it's not a virus it's not gonna spread through your plant so you don't have to panic and then rip off every odd color leaf you find just to make your plant look all green you're actually harming it at that point because the leaf's gonna die usually anyway um, and if it does why not let it use that energy in the plant uh, let the plant take it up its nutrients that you put into it soil wise or however and let the plant consume it so that's all I got for today. We'll try to keep it shorter. Sorry, I'm trying not to drag on. It's eight minutes. So I'm going to spray them again with water. Um, I'm going to cut it here because we already gone over too long. So y'all have a good one. We'll see you on day 10. And you guys will finally be able to see the video. Because I'm going to do 1 through 10 all together in one shot. Y'all have a good one, Colorado's finest. Day 10. Thank God Almighty. Alright. Let's get down to business. Down a bunch of that. So, let's do the grand finale, see what happened. Now remember, I don't know if, if I said it in my original estimate, but I'll turn this one this way. Gotta get a good look at it. Just kind of cramped up for space here with all these clones. Normally I don't do this many at one time. So here's the outcome. We got the back row on both of these. Front rows gel. Back rows water. Front rows gel. You can see it's marked. And back rows water. So um, as I think it was day six, if I remember right, uh, can't remember, but 
it was the water that won the, the very first to root clone and all that stuff but I'm sure I made the comment before I can't recall the days but <clears throat> here's the breakdown we got one berry bomb water with roots right there I'm not gonna pull them out and risk damaging the roots right now you can see them two of them just water and nothing on the other two so we're two for two there so we got two with roots we got I believe this one has roots I see them I guess we'll count that three four four five okay we got five waters with roots let's go over to this side we have zero ice zero ice okay not a single ice on the water and we got looks like we have strawberry blue we have one see how it's that light brown color and see the dark ones in the back look at that roots so that's if you guys are rapid rooter users that's a good way to judge your clones so we got two there two without two with so Six, seven, eight. Fucking lost count. God damn it. So, that'd be seven, I think. Okay, now let's go to jail. That'll be pretty simple. You definitely got one here. Berry. Let's see the other berry. We have nothing there. We definitely got one there. So it's two. That one's probably the big dog of them all. Three. So we got three berries. We're gonna have see so none here. THC we got one. Looks like just one. And then this one will probably be real soon. Yep. But we won't count it because it's not out. So we got one THC. Okay, let's go to this side. We have ice. There's some roots in the back there. One. We got none on that one. We got a bunch of them on that one. Two. And we got. Sorry, I'm looking not through the camera. We got two of the ice. Strawberry blue, all four of them. So, as you can see, there's roots there, roots there. Every one of these got roots. There's roots hanging out the front, roots everywhere on these. So, I guess that's 10. So, obviously, um, the gel is more efficient. Um, but if you don't have the gel and use straight water, it, it, it works. I mean, look at the count. You still got clones. Now, these up these clones can stay in here. You just keep keeping them watered, keep them going, which I'm going to do. Um, I'm just not going to continue the video series on it. But they will, they, a lot of these will possibly root. They're the ones that haven't yet. So, um, there you go there. So, the, the cloning gel is not 100% necessary. Um... Just don't believe in the hype. It definitely helps. I give them that, but it's not a necessary thing to use. I don't care what kind of cloning gel powder it is. <clears throat> I just proved water is right there. Now, definitely made a difference soaking the cubes initially in each of their nutrients. That's what um, I believe really helped these out to begin with. If you notice, most of them are all still really green. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple little bad ones here. They look like they're going to die all together. But majority, they're all nice and green. So they're feeding well. They're not pulling nutrients out of the leaves. So, with that said, um, I think what's more important about anything when cloning is going to be soaking your cubes in a good solution. Now, let me take a brief look here. I would say it's kind of a toss-up here. I mean, you got 
Let's see, you got... What is this? What the heck was MF? That's, um... Mad Farmer. Mad Farmer's got one... Two... It's got two... Three... Four... Five... Six... Seven, eight. Mad Farmer cloning gel, cloning uh, nutrients has rooted every single one of his clones. So um, I don't know if that's going to be beat. Uh, Clone Tech would be the next one up. Clone Tech failed on that one. So obviously it's not the winner. It's got one, two, three, three. Should have wrote this shit down. Four, five, so we got five out of three. You know, five out of eight. So three didn't. Three didn't. That's still good. I mean, but obviously we're looking at the best of the best. So right now, Mad Farmers number one. Um, so that was Clone Tech. Um, this is the TA, which is um. Oh, the Thrive Alive, that's right. Thrive Alive A, I believe it is. That's got one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. Thrive Alive, which is what I use all the time, that's got eight. Um, so, that right there, tech, Technoflora, whatever. Um, Thrive Alive, I've always used that. That one, that one worked. Um, Route 66 now, which was the one that wasn't for cloning that I wanted to use anyway. I mean, obviously this one has roots, but I'm not going to count it because they're not sticking out of the, the actual cube. So it's got one, one there, nothing there, nothing there, two, three. Two, three. That's it. Three, four. So it's four out of four. Alright, sorry. It's late as fuck. I've been up too late. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it did 50 50. Now, not bad for something that's not, you know, it's not on the package, say it is for clones. Root Tech is for transplanting and all that fun stuff. Um, it helps them, like, I, I've done transplants without any um, stress whatsoever. Okay. I mean, it makes them freaking pop right away. Um, it's good stuff. But those are basic newts. Those are on the less expensive, but they work just like uh, the general hydroponic stuff. I mean, Stuff don't have to cost a fortune and have a fancy ass bottle and look all freaking awesome and they charge you like, you know, uh, an eighth of the cost because of the freaking futuristic looking bottle it's in and these fancy little pictures they put on them. That's all BS. <clears throat> I'm going to do a BS part two, by the way. So if you're a fan of BS one, two's getting even better. So there you go. Um, that's the winners. Mad Farmer by far um now what i will tell you the mad farmer if i compared every clone to clone that rooted definitely has more developed roots bigger roots um wider roots i mean i'm just looking at some of them now just more of them um so if i had to compare between the two definitely mad farmer took the cake so those are ones i've never used before so the, the Thrive Alive, I, like I said, I've used it freaking all. That's all I use uh, mainly. So I will be using Mad Farmer now again and check it one more time on another set of clones if I ever need them. I don't even need these ones. They're all just pretty much um, going to be compost, really. Uh, we'll see. But that's it. 
Um, I know it wasn't too crazy. It's not the best clone off, but that's the best I am going to do for a while right now. Um, I'm just in between flowering right now on one of my big tents, so I thought I'd take the time to get this finished. Um, I hope somebody enjoyed it. I know it's crazy. A lot of these nights it's been 3 or 4 in the morning. So a little loopy, down, whatever. But it is what it is. Now you got true what I used, what's going on, and the new stuff that I haven't used. I'm really impressed. Mad Farmer kicks ass. Um, so does the Thrive Alive. No doubt about that one. That's been around forever. So I love them both. Um, and I will use them both. If one runs out, I'll use the other until they both run out and then buy them both again. They're proving the work. Y'all have a good one. Appreciate you stopping by. Um, on 420 Magazine, you can find me there. Uh, I like to thank my uh, grow shop. They hooked me up with the Mad Farmer. Um, thank Clone Tech. Um, I'm not sure what the real company is, but Clone Tech. Um, they gave me that um, to try. So, not a sponsor grow what's ever, but I'm always looking around. I'll buy them, but they were like, no, here, go ahead and try it. You know, I didn't say I was making a video or nothing. I just look for different things for myself. But I'm thinking pretty good here. Y'all have a good one. I'm out of here.